Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamriel. Welcome to Terra. We're playing as Thamriel of the Brawler, and we're out here on this beautiful beach. Just beautiful beach of Cutthroat Beach. Which in the name and the view is, I mean, look at this sight. Look how beautiful it looks on behind behind her. Here, let me do this camera over here. <laughs> That's a little butcher camera. <laughs> I did not mean to put it to the butt, my bad. Look at this, nice little beach area, right? Nice, really calming beach area. And it's called Cutthroat Beach. Like, <laughs> it's illogical for it to be called Cutthroat Beach, it's so nice! It's like, oh yeah, this is definitely, mm, look at those mountains and water. Definitely want to slice up some throats now. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Let's go ahead and go to the mail. And mass send us some stuff, some federation bills, thank you for that. I don't know what federation bills do, to be honest, I have no idea. I'm guessing some sort of currency that's currently for me, <clears throat> it's a little arbitrary because it's nothing I need. I think eventually I will figure out what it is and what I need for it to, uh, to be, you know, more effective for me. But for now, I'm just not even going to worry about it for now. I'm just going to go ahead and head over, over to the cutthroat beach over here. And see if we can continue with our main campaign, main mission. <clears throat> I want to mostly focus on the main campaign. Side quests are great and all, and they give me a lot of gold and everything. But for now, I want to kind of focus mostly on completing the main mission, unlocking dungeons and everything like that. In order to kind of just level up the character rather than... I mean, the story I kind of do want to explore, even though there's not really a lot of the story with Terra, to be honest. Uh, but I do nevertheless want to just unlock different things and see the world, and see the world of Terra. As long as it doesn't frame drop me like it does right now. I don't know what it is with Terra, but this is one of the few games out there that has a very weird stability issues where sometimes it just freeze and some controls don't feel as tight as they probably should be. Maybe it's something on my computer, maybe it's just my PC, maybe it's my hardware that's not able to run it, but whatever, not gonna worry about it for now. Let's see, we gotta go. Actually, I think we gotta go downstairs to go get the person that we need to talk to. Where is that person? Kinias, there we go, that's Kinias over here. Gonna talk to you quickly. Uh, what do we gotta do now? Speak of Corvain, Cutthroat Harbor. That's all the way on the bottom over there. Oh, okay, gotcha. We'll probably go over there real quick. Also, well, we gotta talk to, uh, let's see, Jakarian and Sayer. I have no idea. Was, well, Sayer is in Velkia. Jakarian is all in, is in Chibinka. Or Chibika? Yeah, it's Chibika. We gotta take uh, Pegasus from Velkia to Chibika in order to meet him. Let's go talk to Corvin over here. There we go. What else we gotta do for you, buddy? Speak with uh, Cotton now. Cotton, 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 where you at? Oh, he's already up north. All right. Great. Let's go ahead and head up there. So anyway, uh, hopefully we can uh, stay around this area for a little bit and just kind of level for a little and just explore more of the area. Or it will actually hopefully ask us to go to a different zone at a certain point because we are reaching the maximum level necessary for this zone. We're already level 33, so I don't know. I feel like we need to find more places out there for us to explore and wander in. I wonder if I can come around like this. Let's try this. One hand piloting, which is kind of nice. Come on, up the hill. Oh, is it not? Is it that hard for you to go up the hill? There we go. Going uphill as well for this game is kind of wonky, but that's eh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. There you are. Hello there. I gotta go back, right? Yeah, now I gotta go back to the docks. Well, I'm constantly getting reports to go back and forth, back and forth. Can I like, get a quest to like fight monsters? Because, I mean, here's the thing. With Terra, the coolest part about it is the giant ass monsters you fight and the epic battles you can get into. And also dungeons as well. So I'd like to get into more of those rather than run around and do medial tasks. There we go. We gotta do several things here, apparently. Wow. Also got a quest to turn in here, I think. To you, Mother's Tears. There we go. Enjoy that. Alright, so let's see. Loki and Executioner. Read the reports to identify whether those spies are, while the Vekia's flask reveals the identities kill them. Okay, Executioner. Can you report? God, I guess we probably should dismount for this, shouldn't we? Uh, put the, uh, suspicious sailor had been sighted on the outskirts of Cathedral Harbor. They seem to gather after their four ways into town. Put the report away. So that's one of the people there. Then we've also got, uh, it appears that many of the spies have dis... Team which is us as sailors to disguise themselves as sailors to make it easy to go in and out of the village. I know there's suspicious sailors suck around up here. So we got the um, two locations here now. We also got need a third location. The suspicious men at Cutthroat Harbor have distinguished they disguise themselves as sailors. Moreover, these suspicious sailors seem to take a real interest in who came uh, comes and goes into Cutthroat Harbor. So now we got one, two, and uh, should be a third location somewhere around here, I would think. Let's see if I can use a big mini map for that. Okay, yeah, we got two points here. We gotta figure that out. We also need to talk to a local executioner here. I guess we gotta interact with them and use the uh, the very telus 
which is flask in order to figure out if they are the enemy we gotta take out let's go and do that real quick mount up all right let's head over up here to the northern side over here to the beach area and see if maybe we can take them out over here where are you guys uh, they're gonna be maybe it's so somewhere around here on a rock. Maybe it's this guy? Raget? Maybe? Let me dismount here. Raget? Is you, bud? Let's see, use this. Word and flask used. Yet nothing is happening. Should I find where the spies are? It says it should be here somewhere. Near the rock, but apparently it's not near the rock, maybe? And whatever, I can, we can go, let's, here's the thing, since nothing's happening at the rock, it will make sense for us to go check out the other area. We could head over over here, supposedly, and just take care of it right here, in the Cutthroat Harbor. Could do that, actually, that might be pretty easy, since it does kind of point us towards the boat and a general conf defined location. Apparently right here near the boat, we should find some cutthroats or something, and should be able to use a flask around the area to try to find them. Let's try to do that. There we go. Now that we're here in the specific area, let's do this. Oh, maybe we gotta use on the guy, don't we? Reget? Let's see if we can use on Reget here. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Where does Fast used? Maybe I gotta use it on him. Here, let me try to hotkey this thing to uh seven, maybe? Yeah, this uh, this person over here, the time the raccoon person is also trying to help out. Hello. Oh, well then, I guess that didn't help me out much. You know what, while you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other person over here. There's another rocket over there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get him. Hopefully nobody gets him before me. So all I gotta do is just macro it over to the keyboard, or keybind it to the keyboard, and then try to use the item like this. And it should spawn him. And they're actually pretty tough now. <laughs> so the guy that just killed him, actually, I have no idea how they killed him instantaneously, but whatever. Looking at execution of found, I could probably try to wait until the other person spawns here and just respawn over and over and just kind of do without what we will. Okay, what am my horse go? Hold on one sec. What am my horse go? <laughs> right, there we go. I think I accidentally removed my mount from the bar. Let me just go ahead and put up three of them in case I actually ever remove any of them whatsoever. There we go. Mount up, right click, there we go. Alright, let's head back to the northern side. So, okay, we gotta kill those rocket dudes in order to get them. That actually would not be too bad. I can probably do that. That should be very easy. Now that I know who to aim for, it's a lot easier. That's rocket guy over there. Let's go and dismount. There we go. Aim right for him. And press 7. There we go, and we found some Loki executioners. Lovely. And he is dead. Nice. We only got one less one to take care of. And that should be pretty damn easy afterwards. So we only got to kill three of them. And after that, I hope they'll give us another place to go to, because we're kind of running out of things to do around here, to be honest. <laughs> as much as I would like to hang out around the beach area, I want to explore more of the game. I heard there's like a really nice, pretty looking desert area, and I'd love to explore that as well. Also, maybe do some dungeons. Maybe like a beach cove, pirate cove kind of dungeon. Now that would probably be pretty damn cool. And this, why is this person just, why? Utterly enchanting, why, why, why are you, why are you killing all the things that I need to kill? You do realize that I gotta kill him, right? I know you're brawling and everything, I know you're overpowered and all, but I kind of gotta kill this guy as well. <laughs> he just killed him for no reason. Oh, I mean, I don't think he needs it, he is level 36. He is three levels higher than me, I don't know why. I guess he's just gonna sit here for some time and try to kill them. The other guy spawned over there by any chance? No, he didn't. At least I don't see him there. Oh, I do see him. But he's somebody's talking to him. The Thermachan is trying to talk to him. I think they haven't figured out how to use the item on him yet. I guess I could probably hang out here for a little bit. Well, they haven't uh, realized how to use the item, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over there real quick. And before anybody can get him, I'm gonna try to use number 7 item, the flask. Let's see if he can uh, unlock his identity again. Hopefully that will count in. It did. Hello, that's awesome. Hopefully that's killing him. And we completed the quest. Alright, fantastic, wonderful. I am good with this. I am good. I don't need any more map markers, no nothing. Let's just go ahead and get out of here. And complete the quests. And move on. Gonna turn all this in. What kind of stuff we got here? We got new gloves. That aren't bad what we got. 
This is okay as is. Alright, so what do we got here? Relic of the Bygone Age. We can go Tale of Two Tales. Go back to Velky. I don't want to do that. Speakwell Barius. Barius is actually over here, apparently. Let's see if we can head up north here. And, well, that's not really north, it's more like east. <laughs> and I think we gotta go around the buildings to find Barius here. There he is. Barley, Barlius, not Barius. There we go, turn the quest for him. Now it tells us to go get the encrypted leader. Quick kill, swike. Oh wow, we have to go all the way there. Oh Jesus Christ. Let's search for clues. Uh, I guess we could probably try doing that. Although I don't want to run all the way there, to be honest. Traveling there is going to be a pain in the ass on its own. Maybe I can stop by the. Well, not the banker. I don't want anything from the banker. What can I put away, really? I don't want to put away this. All this stuff might be necessary. Well, this might be not going to be necessary. Maybe I could find a merchant to trade with. That'd be actually wonderful. What's a good merchant here? Merchant. We got a merchant up north. Actually, I believe a merchant here as well. Yes, we do have a merchant here. There we go. There she is. Let's see if we can sell some of the stuff we don't need. General goods I don't really need to buy, but I would love to sell some stuff. Super rune, I'm not gonna use for crafting. Rough hide, I'm not a crafter. <laughs> uh, we could probably just go ahead and sell some fine Harley Hexagen because I'm not gonna need them in the moment. Sell all the Alka Heist, I'm not gonna need them. Sell the gloves. Uh, scroll crit power, I might want to keep the scrolls with the crit power because they're kind of nice. Everything else is good, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this. There we go. Made 69 gold. Well, currently have at the moment 69 gold, so let's go ahead and go with that. Mount up, and uh, what can we do now? We could technically try to see if we can kill Swag, uh, Slogash. I could, technically, but at the same time, I don't know if I should just scrap this place over or complete it. Here's the thing, because we could head over to Velkia and just start a new chain quest, right? Level 34 chain quest, which will probably yield us a lot more experience. I don't know what we consider story mode, though. Let's see this. Complete a Tale of Tales quest. I'll guess this is part of the story, so this is not necessary. Well, never mind. <laughs> I figured out what is going to be necessary, what is not going to be necessary. Let's see, let's find a travel merchant here. See, as far as I understand, story is going to be the best way to level throughout the game. I do want to do some side quests every now and then just to get some, you know, bonus material and stuff like that. But other than that, I want to try to skip as much of it as much, you know, just as much as possible. If it's not really going to be the big meat of the game, I'll probably just want to, you know, skip it. Probably not a good idea to, you know, since I'm trying to, like, explore the game and everything, probably not a good idea to just try to skip a lot of it, but the rate of leveling that I have at the moment is... We'll win. We will win, apparently, I don't know. It is ridiculous to the point where it's just... A lot of things just start snowballing on me, and I have to complete a lot of it unless... Or it's just not gonna work in my favor. I actually have no idea what I'm trying to say. Pretty much, the idea is... A lot of stuff is snowballing on us for questing and stuff. It's gonna be a lot too much to do in one setting, and as much as I would like to complete different story quests and everything that, nothing so far gets me too invested into a specific story mode. So, which is why I'm kind of in search for maybe find the story and find the cinematics in order to file the main campaign and everything like that. That's mostly what I care about. Side quests are a great note to do from the side and just kind of take a break for stuff, but for now, I want to just focus on the main meat of the game as much as possible. That's pretty much it. Otherwise than that, uh, enjoying the game as far as I can. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a little break here, let it kind of fly over, and I'll come back as soon as we're back to Velkia and got our quest and everything, so see you in a bit, guys. Well, looks like I arrived to Pora Elinu. We gotta report to Leelin. We are currently, if I'm correct, are in the homelands of Popori and... Ellie, Elian, Elizen, the, the little little girls, little animal girls. We're in the land of the little animal people. Like this is their home and everything. Look, I mean the tree, the giant tree in the center looks kind of cool, and the aesthetics and everything looks kind of pretty as well. I do like how the place looks like. That's for sure. A lot of hostile mobs though. So we gotta head over to linen and find linen inside here. And the way we do that is by taking a bridge in the center. Yeah, I see the bridge now. Oh, this guy is over here. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get away from him. I wonder if there's gonna be any reason for me to even fight these guys. Level 35 Cobalt uh, Skull Thumpers. So probably not a good idea to mess with them at the moment. Let's not even worry about them right now. Let's see if we can go around these guys. Get through here. Hello, little critters. Now I'm not doing anything bad. Don't worry, I'm just, just chill back. 
Just heading over to this giant tree tower. It's like a tree plant tower thing. I've actually have no idea what it looks like. See, it has trees, but then it has a uh, that whole like green stuff, and then like plant. I don't know. It, it looks like a, a vegetation of a sword. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a giant vegetation tree. <laughs> That's the home base. Like, that's exactly what it is. And they got a bunch of poorly wardens and clerics and all the over the place. I think I can go through this end over here. And you even got a puppy. Apparently, Papori has puppies. Let's go. How can I figure out? Okay, I gotta figure out a way to get in. <laughs> I think I gotta go in here. I think this is the way to go. And it's all the way on the other side. Uh, cleric and noble. What does a cleric do? Oh, restoration. Recover HP. Rec oh! Restore stamina, heal HP, recover HP, restore stamina. HP. Oh, he can do recovery for us. I didn't know that was a thing. That's kind of cool. All right. I can probably see if he can use his services later in the future. Wow, this place actually looks kind of pretty, I'm not gonna lie, with trees and plants and stuff, looks very nature-like. And it's like, it's not even a, it's not really in a swamp, but it's like on a river, and it's built around a tree or something. Let's go inside here, whoa! Oh, we can see all the way to the top, that is kind of cool, I like it. That is kind of neat, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's really, actually, really, really neat. Uh, guild quest rewards? Can I help you? Mission list, I guess, it's on, since I'm not in a guild, I can't really do much. We got aid, attention. All right. Uh, let's see if we can find uh, Leland. Leland should be somewhere in here. Oh, hello, Leland. You and three, two other girls that look exactly the same. Hello. Yeah, we're talking to you. There we go. Let's go inside of here. Oh, not even inside anywhere. We just got to talk to Aaron, the princess. Yeah, you can tell us to, what to do around here. That'd be great. Talk to her again. Okay. Now we gotta, let's see, Dewdrop Bud, collect Dewdrop Bud from Aaron's potions. Potions, alright. What, what are the potions at? Is it something I gotta use? I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Help? <laughs> Help? Uh, collect Dewdrop Buds from Aaron's potion. Dewdrop Bud, I kinda need to read this up. Okay, do draw butts from Arms Potion. Okay, so what do you do? The votes were clear. My symbol won by a full individual vote. It wasn't even close. It's not my fault the Squirrel Princess is nuts. Oh, she's nuts, I guess. <laughs> wow. Squirrel Punts. Uh, when she lost the vote, she ran out of assembly and went off a foolish crusade. She's raising an army. We need to stand united under one banner. One banner, to be precise. Oh. So it's about whose banner is better and who made the better emblem. Sounds great. Yeah, definitely a logical thing to do. I need to find the damn potions. Where do I find them at? Oh, we gotta go out somewhere. Oh, I didn't even realize it. Got a herb gather and Tarin, who is just in love. That's it. He's just in love. How could anyone be nervous about visiting the Eldritch Academy? The most beautiful woman in the world lives here. His, her smile is enchanting. Her temper, her temper is fiery as cranky, castanic. Oh, <laughs> shots fired. Castanic's there. Wish me luck. Good luck, buddy. Have fun with that. Got a banker, got another banker. This place loads a lot better. I think it's because we don't have so many players around here. That's a lot nicer, actually. <laughs> See, quite a places are actually kind of nice. Available quests. No available quests. Never mind. We can't do that just yet. Alright. So, I think what we need to do is head over to the location. I could pick up a side quest, but I don't really want to. And kind of go in this direction and see if we can find the potions that are required. We can also apparently climb up. I kind of want to see what's going to be there. Let me climb up here. I've not really been to places that require you to climb or given access to even climbing anyway. So I would love to explore what they have up here for us and what are they hiding. Never know, maybe they're hiding something cool, something special. Let's see. And we climbed up to meet a maid. We got a little animal girl maid. <laughs> Did we win the internet yet? Do you hear that? Such a strange smell. Let's hear that. Hope this ends with blood without bloodshed. Our queen would be so ashamed of us if he knew she was what was going on. I guess we have a candle in the darkness. That's always nice of her to say that. I think we can probably climb down. That probably would be a lot safer than just jumping down. Well, I could try to jump down and just say Geronimo. I don't want to do that actually. Let's just see if we can. Can we go close enough to jump? No, apparently we can't. Am I just stuck up here? <laughs> I think I might be stuck up here. You know what? Our best bet right now is to try to jump to the water. If you don't jump into the water, then something else will happen. Ah, uh, I'll probably jump for this. Let's try this out. Alright, I made it. <laughs> I somehow figured out a way to get the hell out of here. Hey, if you're stuck up in a tower, the only thing you can do is jump and hope you land for the water. 
And, um, uh, yeah. And, well, fall damage is reduced. I think this game has some fall damage. I just don't want to try to mess with it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swim over to uh, the land. Then hopefully we can climb up the land somehow. Hopefully it's not slippery or something. And uh, try to get over to the place. Now, how can I get up? Can I just, like, run up? Oh, right, good. It lets me run up. Some places, sadly and surprisingly, do not let you run up whatsoever. Because you just end up sliding off every single time. I don't know why it was a big deal, but... And it's whatever. Let's see if we can head over to the next zone over, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Never mind, I won't see you guys in a little bit. I'll see you right now when I'm fighting all these things. Whatever the hell this is. I'm not sure what just happened. I'm not 100% sure what just happened. <laughs> I don't think. Let me just make sure to put on the timer here. Just so I know exactly where I'm at. I got a lot of a lot of items here. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Riel. Welcome to Left Left Left. Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing. I kind of want to say you could dress better. Mm. 